so it's an absolute lovely day here in Italy uh, about 15 degrees and actually sunny uh, we are heading to Shavinia for a few days Anna's daughter has a national competition in alpine skiing so we're gonna go and watch that and then I think I'm gonna start tackling this getting rid of the old plaster on the whole stables as I can't do much work on that little house. So I think the next, I don't know, weeks maybe, I'm gonna start working on the facade. So yeah, that's it. I guess I'm gonna show you guys some clips from Shavinia and then from that we'll cut back to me doing work here. So we are back from the Alps, um, I'm going to start tackling the facade as I mentioned just seconds before. I got some new work pants on, they are American from Carhartt, uh, never had anything like it actually, they are very different to European pants, way way better, uh, so I, I know exactly why everyone's wearing these in the state. Anyway, uh, enough of the fashion advice, I'm gonna stick to what I know or what I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna start doing that and I guess it will be done in no time. Okay, this is uh, gonna take forever, lies were told. glasses so I can't complain apart from that it's all right not the most fun I've ever had but then again not everything is what I'll do is I'm going to continue stick with it ones uh, they're really in the way I really want to get going on this side so that I can start building the scaffold this is kind of a problem so I think I'm gonna place those over there for now and then I guess I'm gonna have to move them again kind of that's how I do stuff around here moving things back and forth So that's that done. The good thing with YouTube is moving a pile like that only takes about 20 seconds. Now we are going to start working on building the uh, scaffolding. So while the 
battery died on the camera. Alex came over and we quickly built the scaffolding and it's ready for tomorrow so that we can continue working on the facade. All right, it's a new day and it's a lovely sunny one. Uh, I'm absolutely shattered from the work I did yesterday and today I'm gonna continue on uh, the facade and we'll see how that goes. morning we have the spacemen here they are going to remove the uh, asbestos that we have in the ceiling downstairs we also have some here uh, they're gonna cover it in leave it there for now just there and then in the future we're also gonna remove this but for now we're gonna do the inside of the basement so that the electrician and the plumber can do some work down there so this morning I went and bought some brushes this one and this one which fortunately doesn't rotate correctly it wobbles so i'm going to return it but i'm going to give this one a try yesterday i used a um, like a wire brush a rotating wire brush which worked fine it's a bit tedious to work with and i think this is going to be better which is like a coarse brush thingy for uh, rust and stone etc Okay, so that went great. Uh, I'm getting the result I want and it's fairly easy to work with. Uh, I am going to need a mask while doing this uh, because I can't hold my breath this whole wall. Uh, it's not gonna happen today though uh, because I'm having a rest day from working on the wall or at least that's what I have planned right now but in five minutes I'll probably change my mind. Uh, for now uh, I am going to move a security camera. That's not gonna be on camera. Uh, I just cut until that's done. So I'm heading down the basement and that's the result. Uh, no more asbestos pipes. All gone and ready to do some work down here. Uh, it might look a mess. It is actually a mess, but on that wall, I am going to place the central, which is that one for the electricity. And then uh, I'm gonna do a hollow wall with plasterboards so it will look nice and tidy when it's done which is the opposite of the current state down here okay so let's head back upstairs so basement have been checked and camera has been mounted and i'm not having a rest day i'm gonna do that bit i'm gonna leave that bit for today uh but at least finish everything down here at the ground level and then then we'll see i uh, might enjoy the sun So that's that done uh, even though the machine do some damage to the stones uh, when I remove the, the old facade uh, it doesn't really matter when once I polish them I think it gives character to the stone doesn't doesn't look bad I think it looks rather great uh, yeah uh, it's really sunny and uh, I think I deserve a beer here I am in the back garden overlooking the sewers the chaos that's growing with a beer. Rather nice. Tony!
so it's another day uh, it's bright and sunny I'm actually wearing shorts at the moment unfortunately I need to go change Anna is busy in the garden working away you seem very happy doing some gardening uh, which is great me on the other hand are gonna get changed and hop on out there uh, see if I can finish the uh, this piece of the uh, facade or finish uh, remove all the old uh, plaster and we have a lot of work to do but uh, that's the plan for today about done I still have down there the observant viewers I've also saved a few lines or a few rows of uh, bricks on top because we are removing I think about three stones so from about here to here we're gonna remove all the way going here because we're placing a window here a long elongated window so yeah that's the uh, progress so far not having a great time up here then again, lovely day and now back to work. So I just had a quick wash with the garden hose, looking pretty good, at least that piece as well as that. So I think when I do the repointing of the stones, I think it's gonna look fantastic. So uh, that's one basically, I won't say quarter, but it's an eighth of the house done. So just seven eighths to go, excellent. Okay, so I'm gonna end the video right where we started uh, in the Italian Alps. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until next time, ciao.